saying reality that, that that reality music back where we bring a message to the streets again where you know we got something behind it man that's helping us grow up out of stuff man it's about the youngest coming up getting enticing by the streets man but we let them know man like they only show or talk about what's little going on in the streets they talk about the, what they glorify the drugs and you know what i'm saying they talk about the money but they don't talk about the consequences that come behind it so yeah we bringing that out on here this is gonna be another classic man one of them back like one of those uh, 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 Ice Cube today had a good day type joint. Some, some, uh, uh, mind playing tricks on me, Scarface type stuff, man. Like yeah. those classic joints. That 90s feel, yeah. that, 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 that music with a message. Yeah, so we you know bring that energy. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that again. soul. We've got that soul back in it. Oh, yeah, most definitely. So, yeah, we ain't here vibing though. This is gonna be a classic. Yeah, know that you make wise guy pull up, nigga. We in here working. Real music coming back. No games with y'all, man. Quit wasting your energy, man. Stuck your crap and get better with your gap, man. Talk about something, man. Don't just babble. Let's see. Yeah, man. Like, uh, like Dodie was saying, it's that real music. It's that music with that soul. It's that music with a message. It's that music we've been missing. So yeah, when he uh let me hear this joint for the first time, I was excited. I was on go mode from the minute I heard it. Then when he put the hook on it. He put that soul in it. I was really so so uh yeah. This ain't no um this ain't no Christian song, this ain't no gospel song, but it's a real song. You know what I'm saying? It's a real song, real clean message. It's a me song. You know what I'm saying? So again, I was excited to be on this because uh we got something to get off our chest. You know, we ain't we ain't here to glorify the streets. This coming from an OG perspective. This coming from a grown man perspective. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, we finna get to work. I'm finna eat on this track. We'll be back with y'all in a minute. One. I was listening to Exit Plan, and um, I was like, Dub, like, the way he explained it to the, to the youngins or whatever, like, and, and letting them know, like, how it is in the streets and basically just giving them game. It's like, it's not like he rapping, man. He's actually speaking to him, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like a, every time, to me, when Scarface speak, man, it's like a sermon. It's not even like I'm listening to a song, so. Or 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 being at a, at a college or something and hearing a professor speak or something, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So the game that he was given, I was like, well, shoot, like, the way the song is is that we giving out game. We, 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 we bring in. You know, like you said, grown man bars, grown man music, grown man talk to to these youngest man, giving them the whole ins and outs on how the streets is, and giving them that reality music. Yeah. So it's like whatever when I'm when I'm talking to them, I want to be able to talk to them and not just be rapping and yeah. put a certain style on them. So you know what I'm saying? The style will over over uh, override the message. Yeah. And I'm trying to bring the message out more than the style. So yeah. I that's why I, I say I got inspired by uh, Scarface. I mean, exit uh, playing song. Because the way he was speaking on there, the music didn't override the message. The, yeah. the way the, 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 a certain style of him rapping didn't override the message. The message came out clear. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I felt that felt like I, I needed to approach this situation. So that's what influenced your delivery on this, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's dope. The message dope too. So uh, I'm also thinking about throwing a, uh, <laughs> a second verse over here since the verse is so short. And just yeah. do it, making it like, you know, a little, because it cuts so short. But I also got a special guest that's going to be on here ad-libbing it, too. Oh, yeah? So, yeah, it's really finna get, it's finna really come out. Okay. So, it's, uh, you know, me, Dota G Mac, featuring Wise Guy Pug and Vegas Rolls Royce, and also uh, Jay Nicole. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to hear all that on. It's going to be a real soulful, and it's going to have a gospel feel to it. Because once at the end... 
you know, Jay Nicole gonna bring the gospel out to it. Okay. So she gonna do some ad living real hard, like really going in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Type singing on there, and the background is gonna be like it's gonna be something that's gonna it's gonna affect. That it's gonna affect the streets in the most positive way. It's gonna be piercing to them. It has to. It has to touch them. You gotta be that soulful that it really touched people. I want to be. I wanted to be down there bringing tears to people's eyes when they hear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want a light bulb to go off in his youngest head like, man, do it really? Yeah. Because it's actually painting a picture out of what they doing. I want them to be able to look in the mirror they see their reflection off their song. So then they'll be able to make the decision if they want to take that route or, you know, they need to take that better path. You know? We want when the song to go off, we want them to be like, man, that was right. real. Right. And then even was... with the video. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The video, I want them to, by the end of the video, I want them to be like, I want them to draw themselves into the video, get sucked in it, but I want them to come out of it like, whoa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. man, that was, that was something, like, for real. Like, to make them want to constantly watch it over. I mean, you know, I'm trying to make music from 8 to 80. Yeah. So I'm trying to touch It reminded me of the 90s, man, when I used to go, go to so many funerals and wakes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like every other week, if not every week, I was either going to a funeral or a wake. And this one time, I was at a uh, I was at a wake. I was looking at one of my homeboys, and I can't tell you, bro. To this day, I can't tell you if it was a vision, or uh, or I was daydreaming. Right. But I seen my face on that body in that, body, in that yeah. casket. You I know what I'm that, saying? Yeah. I had that so I don't know if the Lord. I felt like the Lord was warning me, like death is closing in on you, bro. Right. You better you better make up your mind and and choose which way you want to go. Right. You got one foot this way. You got one foot that way. Right. What you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? So that was a real, that was one of those eye-opening moments for me. Right. And um, how you describing the song, hopefully we can kind of like bring that message across that's, that, that's to, the to the shorties. Oh, so yeah. they can just, okay, I see my future now. If they wanted them shorties, that's right. like we speaking in this yeah, song. Growing like, up, right? We, we saw a lot of the OGs do things that were um, expiring to us. Not inspiring to us to be drug dealers or killers or drug users or something. Even if we got into the drug dealer field, we did it in a way that it wasn't sloppy. You know what I'm saying? We had our, we wasn't trying to serve to our homeboys' parents and stuff like that. Yeah. But it was a moment in time, too, that we also had a plan with what we was doing. Like, all the real drug dealers I know from back in the day invested their money in businesses. Yeah, it was. You wasn't, know what I'm saying? Yeah, it wasn't just to get, uh, it wasn't just to get the, the the toys, right? You know, the cars, the motorcycles, the girls, or right. the gym shoes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We had some of them out there too, right? But like you said, the real ones, you know, they had a bigger, uh, uh, they had a bigger plan. Like people, I knew people who fed the community, right? Yeah, who me too. who who threw barbecues for the whole community. We was, at, I was you know what I mean? Part of that, who our bad right? Dishes. Who yeah. bought school clothes and all that? Right. So, so, yeah. When you when we dealing with this day and age, we like that a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where you can look at the old steppers. They come out. They step out with, you know, they put up in their nice cars. And when they go out, they dress up and go out. You know what I'm saying? And they go out classy. You know, you don't know what they're doing. But at the end of the day, that, that day will tell you, like, stay in school. Get your education. You know what I mean? And. This ain't, watch who you hang with. Watch who around you. Don't trust this person. Don't be flashy. You know, the flashiest person is the loudest one in the room. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, that's what this is. And plus, it also bring back a good feel of like American Gangster. Monetize. Want to be like Capone or John Gotti, huh? Or maybe Big Meech or even Shoddy, huh? Penitentiary chance for love of money to them feds. Get you in the back room and start singing just like Takashi. Yeah, what we just did. Let's do that again for them top. All right. Listen. Uh-uh. For the love of money. You're a rat. Major. Itching. I 
hours. Tell me, holy, what you gonna do when the streets come down on you? These out here ain't playing, nigga, I'm saying you better think it through. Tell me, homie, what you gon' do oh, when the streets come down on you? Niggas, they gon' come out spraying, leaving you dead, you better be My ties, wanna feel like the home of John Gotti, huh? Or oh, maybe Big Meech or even Shotty, huh? Penitentiary chance for love of money to the fans Get you in the back room and start singing just like Takashi You ain't gonna John Gotti, huh? Or maybe Big Meech or even Shotty, huh? Penitentiary chance for love of money to the fans. Get you in the back room and start singing just like Takashi. Right now, friend, maybe you did. You better bust it. Wanna be like the home of John Gotti, huh? Or maybe Big Meech or even Shotty, huh? Penitentiary chance for love of money to the fans. Get you in the back room and start singing just like Takashi. You ain't here for this. I seen it all. Streets is a major loss. Just a full contact sport and they itch and they kick it off. I done seen best friends turn enemies in less than 24 hours. Screaming hours. Then blow out his brain for the money and power. Tell me, homie, what you gon' do when the streets come down on me? Out here ain't playing, nigga. I'm saying you better think it through. Tell me, homie, what you gon' do oh, when the streets come down on you? Nigga, they gon' come out spraying, leaving you dead. You better bust a move. They say the streets don't love you, and a block that you hugging got you paying for the plug, dude. Take your penitentiary chances, putting your life at risk for respect that it.